Hey guys, what's up? Back down here at uh, the Pennsylvania location of Scrap Metal Corner. Scrap Metal Corner. <laughs> um, yeah, the reason I'm saying that is because I actually just finished making a video that I'm going to submit to Breathing Antler Mike to see if he'll put in the daily uh, dose of BS one of these days. So we'll have to see. I'll let you know if he does. I'll be sure to post a video saying, oh, go check out this video, it's stickered. I'm in it, for frig's sakes. All right, that's enough bug talk for one day. You guys seem to get a little pissed off when I do that, so we'll behave. So, today, friggin', oops. <laughs> I'm still on that mode from doing that video. Oops, <laughs> I gotta load all this shit into that thing. Fun. Well, I suppose we should get to work. Um, I gotta get that truck bumper out of there. So I, th I think I'm gonna hook old blue up to it right now and uh, yank it out of there. So stay tuned, we'll see what happens. That might be really freaking interesting, actually. All right, we're not gonna piss around. I'm just gonna put her in four low. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get that freaking piece of aluminum off the top. Because we're going to take that another time. I'm trying to crack my back. Oh, there it goes. That felt good. But uh, I'm hoping doing this, because Dad said he'd pay me to load it up. And hoping loading the scrap up and taking what scrap that I'm going to take up by myself, since it's my scrap, uh, will help pay for... Headers, Magnaflow High Flow Cats, uh, Flowmaster 40s, and uh, some piping for Old Blue there. Oh, we'll see. We'll see. See why we put a flow master on his Cadillac. Yeah, listen. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I made it too. Sweet. Anyway, we're gonna get more shit loaded up and then we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll yank more shit out with old blue. That was pretty entertaining, that piece of aluminum. Stay tuned, guys. Well, Pug's got his own language, and he tends to, well, I guess you could say, quote, language. Language. Um, and he tends to get his fingers sometimes. And while I was talking in Pug language, ow, ow, I got myself I'm a little shaky now. Uh-oh. Set this thing down, and I pinched my finger right there. I was like, ah, I really hurt. Swing, 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 swinging my hand back and forth because I really hurt. And something hit me in the face, and it was wet. I was like, what the hell is that? Looked down my friggin' finger. It, it was it was blooding, it was blooding like crazy. Damn it, I'm still doing the pug thing. I'm not even realizing it. I got it all over my arm, over my other one. It's friggin', it's on my shirt. It's on my pants. It's on that hand. And then, if you look down here at this tin, oh, look, blood. Over there on the hood, there's blood. But I can't find any blood on that thing. So I'm gonna go, like, stick a Band-Aid over that so I'm not, it's not really bleeding right now. I just wanna wrap it up. 
So, I got a little bit of shit loaded. As you can see, the nice thing is that finger's gonna hurt like a bitch tomorrow. And I have to go to work. See, I cracked the nail. If you can see, I don't know. But it's, it's throbbing. Anyway, I'm gonna bandage that up and then we'll get back to work. up a little bit as you can see there's not so much blood on my arms anymore my hands are cleaner my fingers re-wrapped again but uh let's pop the camera off the tripod I'm down to 86 minutes ah shit yeah got those out the pile's smaller we got a little bit more in the trailer i went and ate supper yum we made homemade cheesesteaks i got some of my engines over here this is my pile Mine, this mine, um, this daddy's, some of that is dad's, camera's being a dink, but uh, yeah, so stay tuned, We've got more shit to do. Okay, what we have now is a steer axle off a truck laying over right above my finger. So we're gonna yank that out, that thing's pretty heavy, so. I'm just gonna save my back the trouble to yank it out. Oh no, by the way, whoever asks, or Tractor, I think it was Tractor World. No, I'm not taking those off. They're nice. They protect my uh, friggin' rocker panels. That's the word. Got her taught. Rope. Off to the scrapyard with you. smash tail light, how about that? Hmm. Camera didn't fall, that's good at least. That thing is heavy as shit though. So hidden somewhere under that pile, right next to my finger, there's a brake drum, or big brake drum off the truck. I want it out. But I'm lazy. So, let's see if we can get it to, I think so. First tension. Aw, oh, damn it! Nope. 
Well, I got out what I wanted to get out, so that worked. Works for me. You get them bitches loaded up and check a, take a look at the trailer over there, which is actually getting kind of full. If the camera would focus. There you go. But, uh, yeah, so. Uh, those two assholes. One right there. One right there, and this camera is so screwed. Stay tuned. Alright. So if you look right there, right off the tip of my finger, there's another steer axle that I want out to load up. So, we're going to get it out. Got all blue packed up to the truck, or to the trailer. Waiting for dad to get back so I can have the keys to take this piece off, or the lock off. And then to steal the hitch. I'll hook it up and drag it up. Oh yeah, this piece came undone up here and decided to stand straight up on the highway and bend backwards. So I ripped it off, tossed it in the back and kept driving. So that's gone. But uh, damn it you, there we go. Got all this shit loaded up. Not loading anymore because this frame rails have to stay because they're templates from we drill new frame rails for trucks. And there ain't much steel left to really load. So I think we'll do a load of aluminum. My load whenever I feel like it. Do a load of aluminum. Um, actually, there's more to that. Uh, I got a mower deck back there. Mower deck right there. That axle over there. Oh, the four-wheelers, too. Forgot about those. Those are probably dads. And then uh, we got this shit down here. We got that weird thing there, that rake thing. We got that thing there. That John Deere wrecked corn planter or whatever it is. Oh. The tractors, we'll get to those someday. And we got, uh, I gotta be careful because there's boards with nails in them back here. We got this uh, sickle bar mower back here that I'll rip out probably next week or two weeks, I don't know. Oh yeah, this is part of my scrap too. That snow blower there. Now, take a look at valve cover off the old 350. And then of course we got that aluminum, that cast aluminum oil pan <laughs> off a Caterpillar engine. And we got this transmission, which I believe is a 4L, 4L 60 or 80E, I think, which is junk, it's blown. Oh, and a battery, which you can't see because my camera is garbage, there it is. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, that's it for tonight. So we'll wait till Dad gets here, and then haul the trailer up to the driveway. And I don't have to do any more scrapping for the rest of the week. Well, tomorrow I might fix the tail light on that small trailer and start loading up my crap. But other than that, I don't know. We'll see. See what the week holds. Maybe I'll even start the bulldozer this week. Who knows? Stay tuned.
I hitch slide around and it's an adjustable hitch on the trailer, so I guess I'm just uh, swapping around a little. Let's get her out. That was definitely interesting. Apparently it didn't even want to get up and go once I got on the asphalt. Good thing. Which is why I want positive traction. And probably why I shouldn't be hauling a uh, a trailer that's meant for a three-quarter ton truck with a half ton truck. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. Catch you tomorrow.